Okay, let's get started. So we will be seeing now zip in action and this uh, zip is, uh, I, I mean, there are multiple flavors. There are various different flavors of zip. You've got zip with, but, and you also have zip when. So we will be using zip, of course, but a different flavor of, of zip. The one that I have already explained to you is zip with. And now we will move on to using zip when and see the beauty of that zip when first and foremost, friends. Let's see this. I will, uh, you know, go step by step so I can very well explain how you will be doing it for all the IDs that are there in the list out here. But then instead of that, let me get started with a very, very simple stuff here. I'll say string of, I repeat, I'm going to say string customer ID is equal to, I'll say 101. Let's get started with 101 itself, right? And instead of getting the flux of customer out here, so I'll keep this exactly as it is, right? And I'll try to get first of all the mono of customer that is one customer object along with its relevant addresses. I mean respective addresses. So you have a customer object called 101. I want to retrieve that customer object firing an API with slash customers and the customer ID passed to it as a path variable. And then I also want the customer addresses, maybe just the postal addresses of that particular customer. So see what I'm going to do. So I do have, you know, when I say customer is equal to mono of customer, I do have already a function written that returns to me the customer object, right? So I'm going to do this dot, I'll say get customer by ID. You remember this? You've got get customer by ID, right? So we've got get customer by ID and what is the customer ID that I want to pass this, that I want to pass this parameter customer ID right here. So this dot get customer by ID, I'm passing customer ID as a parameter right so far so good this will give me a mono of customer just see i don't do anything else and this just gives me the mono of customer which is cool which is cool but then my dear friends i just do not want the customer because if i take this customer object and, and i return it back it will have this list of addresses as null friends please see this i'm going to have this you know i'm, I'm going to get this addresses as null i do not want this to be null I want these addresses, you know, the list of ad the customer address, this data structure out here, this list to be populated with the addresses of that particular customer. So what am I going to do? I'm going to use dot, okay, I'm going to use dot, yeah, all right, I'll say dot, I'll say zip when, not zip when, I'll say zip when. So this one single customer object must be zipped with only when I have received the customer object and I want to zip with. Zip with what? So when I say zip when and when I say X out here, you know, I will say the right generator is going to be, you know, X out here. What is this X supposed to be? What have I received here? When I say this dot get customer by ID, what is it that I have received? I have received the mono of customer. So what this X represents, my dear friends, when I say X dot C, what is it that it represents? See, I'm getting get address, get ID, get name and stuff. That means this x represents a customer object okay of course i don't need to write so many statements you know i don't need to really break, break it down but then i'm doing it just for the sake of explanation i'll say customer customer is equal to okay let me give another name c is equal to i will say x only so that you understand that this x is nothing but the customer object or else the better way would be instead of saying x here why not define the name of the variable itself as okay i have customer here i'll say Mm, I'll, I'll make this as mono of mono customer okay and here this is my customer object so I have retrieved the mono of customer when I say zip when I'm supposed to give a right generator which happens to be a function I get the customer object and I need to return back something out here now what am I going to do I'm going to fire another service what is that another service that is going to give me the, the flux of customer address and we already have I'll say I'll say postal addresses. You see this? Postal addresses is equal to, I'm going to write this dot, get postal addresses. And what am I going to pass as parameter? Customer dot get ID. Come on, friends, yes or no? Customer ID. And that's exactly what I'm going to return back from here. So I just come back out here and I say postal addresses. I may return back this postal addresses from here. But what is this postal addresses? What exactly is this postal? This is a flux, right? This is a flux in turn. I do not want a flux. I want to still work with a mono because if this is the flux of customer addresses, you know, this is just the flux. I want, I'm interested in the list of 
customer addresses. I repeat, I am interested in the list of customer addresses and the customer object out here. You can see this customer object has got a list of customer. If this was a flux, then I could have set a flux over here. But then this is the list of customer addresses. So what I'm going to do smartly here is that instead of returning, you know, just the postal addresses, which happens to be flux, I'll say dot and I'm say collect to list. Please see what collect to or sorry, not to list collect a list. When I say collect list, just see what it returns back, friends. Please see, see the see, see the return type. It gives me a mono. It's a publisher. Hello, mono is a publisher. Not that this was a blocking call. I'm not collecting it into the list. I'm saying mono of list of customer address. And when I do this, this is what I'm returning back, friends. So what I end up getting here is what I end up getting here is mono of. You know what? See, this is giving me a clear cut compilation error and it tells me, you see, change variable name mono customer type to mono triple two customer comma object. Right. It gives me, you can see this mono of customer. So what is this? You know, this is using zip when and what I'm doing here is that, you know, what am I, whatever I'm returning back. So I've got a customer object. This is going to be a zip one customer object and the list of customer addresses customer object and the list of customer objects uh, I mean the customer addresses now this is what it is but then it returns to me a tuple you know very well zip when will return to you a tuple so what I'm going to do here is instead of saying mono of customer I I, I just I just for the sake of like you know explanation out here I'd say tuple two you can see this okay tuple two come and here I say customer comma I'll say list of customer address and Okay, here you go. I put a semicolon out here. No, no errors at all. We'll go step by step. Don't worry. No errors at all. Please see this. So I have now with me a mono of tuple two and first part of tuple two is what? Come on, part one. That is T1 of tuple two is what? Come on, come on, come on, come on, fast. What is it? It is customer object. And what is the second part? What is T2 in that tuple? Come on, friends. What is T2 in the tuple? What is it? It is list of customer address. You got that? So if I try to subscribe to this mono, I will get T1 and T2. If I try to subscribe, please see this. If I try to say mono, Okay, mono customer dot subscribe. I'll say I'll, I'll attach a subscription, uh, uh, a subscribe. I mean, a consumer here. This X is what? Come on, what is this X? This X is actually nothing but tuple two. This is tuple two. You got that? This is tuple two, right? And this tuple two, see this tuple two dot. Okay, that's just the name of the variable. I could have given X also. Tuple two dot. When I say get T1, friends, what is it that I'm going to get? Come on, see, take a look. T1 is what? Come on, come on, come on, what is T1? All with me? Yes, customer. And what do you expect T2 to be? Come on, what is T2? T2 is list of customer address. Isn't it, friends? Yes, list of address. All right, but I don't want this. Of course, I don't want this. I don't want this. I don't want mono. So I'm gonna keep this as it is, okay? And I'm gonna comment this for you, right? So that you can still refer to it. But here, actually, what I want is I do not want triple two like this. I want a mono of customer only. That's what I want. Mono of customer. So don't you think I will have to do a map? I will have to convert this into what? A customer object. I want to convert what I have highlighted on top. This is what I want to convert to. I want to transform. Sorry, I won't use the word convert. I will say transform. I would want to transform tuple two of customer comma list of customer address into the customer object. Now this is so much a uh, simple sim thing to do. So very you know so very easy thing to do. I'll say dot map. What I get here is what? Come on, come on, come on. Tuple two. Come on. Yes or no? Tuple two. This is what I get. Tuple two, right? And then I know very well we have just discussed this you know few seconds back while writing that subscribe method. This customer. I'll say customer C is equal to, I'll say tuple. I'm just breaking it down into multiple lines. Otherwise, you could have written it in one single line. I'll say tuple to get T1. Get T1 gives you the customer object. List of customer address, right, is equal to, I'll say A is equal to, or I'll say addresses. Okay, A is good. 
I'm going to anyways, you know, so tuple two dot, I'll say get T two friends, please see. Right, I get the list of addresses. Now what am I going to do? C dot set addresses to A. That's it. What am I going to return back here? I'll say return C. That's the customer object that I'm going to return back. That's it, no compilation errors at all. You see this, it works like a charm. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a, no, why by consumer? No, where is the by? Yeah, by consumer is there if I use a subscriber with, you know, triple two. See, on this data structure, if I have, no, not even then, you know, it's just a consumer, why by consumer? And why they, would this be a by consumer? You know, this is going to give me a triple two object, which in turn contains two values, T1 and T2. So I get the triple two object. And with that triple two object, get T1 will give me the customer object. T2 will give me the customer address object. I set the value and I return the customer object. I end up getting the customer mono customer, which will be exactly what, which is, which is going to give me customer and its relevant addresses. Let me do one thing. Let me return back mono of customer from here and so that I can actually, you know, comment this and return back that same return mono customer. Let's do this. Let's um, see. Yes. 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 Tell me. Um, instead of having the tuple returned from the zip file, we can have it as a by consumer um, path and we can convert it data to print. As the example you showed earlier, Karush, while in the demo, the process practice on Okay, so you mean to say I may use a dot zip when over here, and you can see with that zip when itself, you can see this here, you have a, you've got a function, you've got a mono mono, no, it does not, uh, you know, it does not give me uh, an option to use a by function here at all. You can see this, it gives me an option to work with the function itself, not a by function. You got that? It doesn't. If it was zip with, then in that case, you see, I've got an option of by function here. You can see this here? You see? Okay, so okay. I, Right, you got it, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, you're welcome. So this is how it is printed. So what am I doing here? Is that okay? Let me you know uh, put this also. Okay. Now I'm going to run this code. So I'm going to get. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. That's bad. Uh, I I actually wanted to run this. Uh, Invoicing application. Okay, it has started successfully. I go back to my browser and I see what 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 is the uh, path? It's customer address map. Okay, and I just give that customer address map. I'm expecting because I've hard coded one zero one out there. You see this, friends. I get see the preview here. I get for one zero one. I get two addresses of one zero one. Here you go. You get two addresses of one zero one. Okay, I want you to first take a look at this code. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push the code. I repeat, I'm going to push the code, right? And the uh, and, and I, I mean you're not, but then you're not relieved. You are supposed to do something. What is it that you're supposed to do? Let me explain that. Okay, your exercise is exactly this. I want you to now not hard code this one zero one. Instead, pick up the values from here and not just simply for one customer which is hard coded here one zero one. Whatever are the values here in the list, I want all of the customers. So I want customer one zero one, one zero three, one zero five. As I had mentioned earlier, okay, I do want flux of customer. I repeat, I want flux. So what I'm going to do? Let me do this for you. See, I am simply copying and pasting this here, friends. Okay. And here I am changing this to flux and here I'm saying address map zero. This is your assignment friend. Please see I'm putting this here. Your assignment. Okay. Your hands on. This is what you're supposed to do. And I'm picking up things here. Okay. And what is it that you're supposed to return back friends? Come on. What is it that you're supposed to return back? You are supposed to return back flux of customer itself. Flux of customer. I'll say customers itself. Uh, itself customers and then here I'll say return customers please you can very well study this and make sure that you don't just give me one customer object here in this case like mono customer I want flux of customer but each customer must have its own respective addresses right nothing new you already have zip when you already know what is map you already know what is flat map everything that we have studied in last three days in these three days must be sufficient for you to complete this exercise successfully. 
right friends that's what i want from you that's exactly what i want from you friends tell me how much time do you think this should take 